This time on Loving Cars, we look at the difference between a maintenance plan and a savings plan. That is next on Loving Cars. Good day, my name is Erwin, and this is Loving Cars. Thank you very much for watching this video, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button because it helps me into producing more awesome videos like this. So today, we're looking at the difference between a service plan and a maintenance plan, and so that you don't get caught in between and get confused which one is which when you're buying yourself a new car. What's the advantage of having the other, and what's the disadvantage of having the other one? What you should you look for when you are bringing or taking your car in for service when you have a service plan or when you have a maintenance plan? All of that will be explained in this video, full, free of charge. Stay tuned. So let's get down into business. What is a service plan and what is a maintenance plan? A service plan is a policy sold by the manufacturer or the dealership itself on a specific car and a specific model. Service plans have service interval depending on when you should take your car for service. For example, many car manufacturers in South, South Africa have a 15,000 kilometer service interval, which means every 15,000 kilometers or one year, you have to take in your car for service. It doesn't matter whether you have clocked that 15,000 within a month or within three months, or you haven't clocked that 15,000 kilometers at all, and it's one year, you have to take your car for service. Service. So these are the basic uh, opponents and objects, not opponents, excuse me when it comes to that, objects and things that are supposed to be touched when you take your car for a service. Now, a service plan will cover all the fluids that are actually supposed to be changed in your car. This includes your oil, your gear oil, your transmission fluid, your brake fluids, your, your coolant, and each and every single fluid that has to be changed on your car will be covered on your service plan. Some service plan also covered or also covers parts such as spark plugs, uh, the pollen filter, your air filter, and the cam belt, or known as the drive belt or the timing belt in other car manufacturers. But many car manufacturers rarely cover the timing belt. That one is usually covered on a warranty, but many car manufacturers that I know in South Africa don't cover the timing belt when it comes to a warranty. So that's basically what a service plan is. A maintenance plan on the other hand covers all the basic and uh, the objects that are covered by the service plan and more. A maintenance plan works more like a service plan, however, a maintenance plan is more expensive than a service plan because it covers all the parts of the car that are not covered by the service plan. For example, a service plan does not cover any part that is, asso that is associated with wear and tear. In a maintenance plan, every single part of your car that is um, associated with wear and tear is covered and has to be replaced when you're taking your car for service. This includes your brake pads, this includes your wiper blades, this includes your um, your rubber bushings, your shock absorbers, uh, your, 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 your springs, um, your rubber booth, almost every single part that deteriorate when you're driving your car is covered under maintenance plan. However, there's a catch. Buying a maintenance plan when a car is still new is just a waste of money. And the reason why I'm saying, uh, there's a reason why I'm saying buying a maintenance plan when your car is still new is a waste of money. Number one, when your car is still new, barely, barely minimum things will actually start to wear in. And this includes your brake pads and um, almost your brake pads because that's, that's the only thing that's going to wear out. Uh, your wiper blades are barely gonna weigh up uh, unless if you spend or you stay in a place that is always raining for example in the Amazon then your wiper blades might weigh out in the first um, year of purchasing your car but beside that the only thing that you, you are going to replace in your vehicle is your brake pads and which is extremely cheap however when you're paying a maintenance plan you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for you to replace those particular brake pads because they will be overcharging you in monthly installment for you to buy that particular maintenance plan. Number two, dealership mostly don't repair replace most of your parts that need to be replaced when you are having a maintenance plan. Um just so that they can save money and make you pay later. 
if your brake pads are worn, they can write and say your brake pads are not worn. They are still 30, and 30 millimeters or 4 millimeters thick, then you don't need them to be replaced. However, when, the t when time goes on and your brake starts squeaking and you want to replace them, they will charge you for that because that's what actually they do. Even your wiper blades, they can write that they've changed your wiper blades. However, when it's raining and you are moving your wipers, you still see no difference because they didn't change those wiper blades. There is it's absolutely minimum uh, 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 proof that you can tell in your car that these guys actually did change the parts that are actually as associated with wear and tear. Unless if you are mechanically inclined and you can check thoroughly your car that indeed these things have been changed that's where you will benefit in a maintenance plan but beside that that would just service your car uh, normally as a service plan but you will be paying a maintenance plan money it's how they do it one final thing that people need to do and need to start uh, practicing when they're taking the car in for service check your air filter and uh, check your spark plugs check your uh, oil level and check your coolant level and also check uh, your brake pads that might be a little bit difficult because you need to take the tire off just have a look and try and see if any of uh, the brake pad material is still left on your car and check your wipers or your wiper blades if your wiper blade and your brake pads need to be replaced when they call you and say we've realize that your wiper blades and your brake pads need to be replaced can we replace it at, the, at this price obviously they're gonna inflate that particular price of yours say no because wiper blades and brake pads are one of the cheapest things a person can ever ever do to maintain on their car on their own you don't necessarily or literally have to replace them on your own but you can buy them and then find someone who can fit it fit it in your car for cheap instead of paying three thousand and four thousand for replacing brake pads and wiper blades something that you have done on your own ladies and gentlemen that's exactly what i had for you on loving cars today stay tuned for more awesome videos like this and thank you very much for watching have a great day